Now, Governor Romney also took another stab at trying to sell us his $5 trillion tax cut that favors the wealthy. Once again, he refused to tell us how he's going to pay for it. He said he'd let you know after the election. Now, here, here's a tip. Usually when a politician tells you he's going to wait until after the election to explain a plan to you, they don't have a pleasant surprise in store for you. And in this case, it's because just about everybody who's looked at Governor Romney's $5 trillion in tax cuts says he can't pay for it without blowing a hole in the deficit or raising taxes on middle class families. It can't be done. Governor Romney says he has a plan to create 12 million new jobs in the next four years. But when folks started crunching the numbers, it, it fell apart even faster than his tax plan. Turns out his jobs math isn't any better than his tax math. The Washington Post, the Washington Post called it a bait and switch. So, so let's recap what we learned last night. His tax plan doesn't add up. His jobs plan doesn't create jobs. His deficit reduction plan adds to the deficit. So Iowa, you know, everybody here has heard of the New Deal. You've heard of the Fair Deal. You've heard of the Square Deal. Mitt Romney is trying to sell you a sketchy deal. We are not buying it. We know better. We've been there. We've tried that. We're not going back. We're moving forward.